everyone, and welcome to class. My name is Joan Whitson. I'm with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Today, I'm going to share with you an activity that covers so many class dimensions. It's super simple and easy to implement. It's the mystery box. You can use this activity in a couple ways. The first way is to invite children to bring objects to share with the class that they brought from home. Hide one object in the box and ask the child who bought the object to describe the characteristics of what they brought to the rest of the group. The group then uses the description to guess the object. Another way is to do this activity is during like free choice or center time. Again, place a new item in the mystery box and invite the children to reach into the object and, and um, feel the object without looking. And then can the children identify the object through their sense of touch only? The learning opportunities through this activity are improving language skills, logical thinking, memory recall, and reasoning. The class domains covered are, first, regard for human and student perspectives. And this activity is student-focused. It allows student expression, especially when you give a child a chance to bring an object and describe it to the class. Plus, it promotes autonomy and leadership because they are leading the activity. To go a step further, you could have a student leader facilitate the activity in picking who gets to go next. The next class domain is concept development. This activity promotes analysis and reasoning along with logical thinking and brings connections to the real world because the children are talking about items that they know about. And then there's quality of feedback. And this activity includes scaffolding, which is giving hints and to help come up with an answer. What's great about this activity is this actually teaches kids how to do that. It also prompts thought processes and improves language skills and the ability to talk in front of their peers. You can also include encouragement and affirmation when the children come up with the correct answer for the object, like, hooray, awesome, way to use your thinking skills to figure that out. Finally, this activity covers the class domain of language modeling. It's perfect activity for asking open-ended questions. In this case, you would want to ask an example of some of these kind of questions like, what can you tell me about your object? Why did you choose that object? Or what is that object used for? Or what does that object feel like? Or what are some ideas that you have? Others wouldn't be, or and why do you think that? And what other ideas do you have? To improve your quality of feedback, I suggest writing down ahead of time the questions you want to ask and have them posted somewhere nearby where you can be reminded to ask them. I have used this box also during circle and story time. I bring an item related to whatever story I'm reading and put it in the box and have the kids figure out the clues and figure out what it is. Last week I just used the spider for the story about the itsy bitsy spider and they loved having fun guessing the spider and he got to join us then for story time. You can also make your own mystery box. If you don't have one like this, I happen to get this one on Lakeshore. Just take any old box that you have and um, cut a hole in you know, the sides or at the bottom where they can reach in. And if you don't have a box, you can also just use a brown paper bag or a cloth bag like I have here. There's even a fun little song you can go to sing along with it. And it goes like this. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside that mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside that mystery box? Sing this before you have the kids guess. Soon they'll all be singing along. I hope you'll do this activity um, in your classroom. Don't forget to show your excitement and smiles in this positive shared learning experience. Until next time, class is over.